What's up everyone, back with another episode. We're doing what we do best. We're hitting charity shops, trying to find cheap games, keeping what we don't have, and flipping or trading the rest to build our game collection. So let's just get straight out there and see what we can find. Right, so no joy any of those so far. We're just gonna hit one more and hopefully we get some luck in here. No games in that one either, so we struck out for the day. I did get a few pops though. They were a euro each. I think that's Leonard from the Big Bang Theory. Has to be Mary Poppins, and then I thought Rafiki was pretty cool. For you, we can't go wrong, we'll throw him on the shelf and we might find someone that wants these too. Yes, we'll leave it at that and we'll try again another day. Right, so I'm in swords, never see anything out here. First one was a bust. It's 20 degrees, I'm wearing a hoodie, and I'm about to head to the charity shop to try to charge a five euro for a wee fit, so wish me luck. So we're back home in the game room. That was a turn up for the books. That place that was charging five euro for the Wii Fits was pretty much charging two fifty for every game. I picked up six of them and I grabbed a PS2 one for two euro. The other six were all PS3. But when I got to the tail, it came to twelve euro totals. They were actually doing buy one get or buy two get one free. So twelve euro for seven games. So we're definitely going to start going back there and hopefully have some more luck another time. Okay, so it's a new week. We haven't had much time for game hunting this week, and I'm back in work tomorrow. So I'm going to jump back on the dart, head over to Dunleary, and hit all the charity shops along that stretch. Gonna go back into that Aladdin's cave as well, so hopefully we have some luck and pick up another pile of games from there. Right, so actually not off to a bad start. We've got a few bits, nothing major, just a few things for the collection that we might play. Grab that Mortal Kombat and CEX. 28 euros is fairly expensive, but we had a voucher pretty much the full value of it, and it's one of the ones for the collection for a while, and it was in nice condition, so I said, why not? So we're gonna keep going. I'm gonna head down to the Aladdin's Cave now, so hopefully we find another pile of decent games.
Right, so we're back in the game room. No piles of hidden treasures from Aladdin's cave this time, but we did pick up two quality traders. So quality over quantity, we'll take that all day long. But just going back to last week, just hit a couple of the local charity shops, didn't find any games at all. There was a few Funko Pops that were Euro each. I've talked about them before, I don't know anything about Funko Pops, but for a Euro each, I'm gonna pick them up all day long. They were just loose, but there was a Rafiki, which is sitting behind me here. And then there was two other ones. There was a Mary Poppins and a Leonard from the Big Bang Theory. So. I've no interest in keeping them, I've no interest in selling them. If anyone collects Pops and wants a Mary Poppins or a Leonard from the Big Bang Theory, just give me a DM on Instagram or send me a message in the Discord and I'll get it out to you. But then we went out to, we went on a little trip out to Swords. The charity shops there never ever find anything really. The first one I went into, there was nothing, never is. The second one is the one that usually charges like five euro for Wii Fit. Didn't really have my hopes up, but they actually had all the games repriced. So they were 250 each. Well, there was, there was seven that I picked up. Most of the ones I picked up were 250 each and there was one for two euro. But the interesting thing was they had them labeled as DVDs. So it was a Vincent. So most of the Vincent's charity shops, they do multi-buy deals. So CDs, DVDs, books are buy two, get one free. So it worked out at three games for five euro, which is a great price. So picked up six of them in that. So we got six games for tenner and then another one for two euro. So the first one that we got was Enslaved for the PS3. Don't know anything about this one. It just looks like a fun sort of action adventure in a post-apocalyptic world sort of thing. But we'll give it a play. Disc was absolutely immaculate, complete with the manual, so nice one for the collection. Grab this Star Trek. I do like my Star Trek. I've never really played a Star Trek game. Most of them seem like they're sort of strategy-based, not really my thing. This one didn't have a manual, but it looks good, this one. It looks like it's a sort of an action adventure style, so we'll give that a little go at some stage. Hopefully it's good. I grabbed a copy of Follow Tree. I actually got this in the last game hunting video. I think I got it for the 360. But this one was complete. The one that I got in the 360 was a disc only. So I think we'll keep this one. I have played the one after this. I think I downloaded the digital version on PS4. So Follow games are ones I kind of want to try and get back and play the backlog on them. So back catalog even. But yeah, nice complete clean copy of that. Grabbed, I know nothing about this one. Well, obviously I've heard of Warhammer, but this is Warhammer. 40,000 Fire Warrior. Again, it's complete. Really nice manual on it. And another disc that is just perfect, like it was never played. So, some good ratings on the front. I don't know, it just looks like a sort of a first person shootery type thing, but one we don't have, we'll keep it in the collection. Grabbed Medal of Honor Frontline. I think everyone had a copy of this back in the day. I know I played it through, but I don't actually have any of like these sort of OG Medal of Honor games, so pick that up for. Was that two? That was part of the 250 as well. So, but we grabbed it complete, and there was a bonus disc in it as well. So I had a copy of Rising Sun. So we can't go wrong. Like to complete copy of that to play through, and then we'll give that a play through as well. So love a bonus disc on this channel. Grabbed Transformers: Dark of the Moon. This is another one that wasn't complete, unfortunately. But again, yeah, look really nice disc on that too. So I'm not sure if this is one of the better Transformer games. I don't think it is, but. Look, we'll give it a try. And the last thing I picked up in that charity shop was Uncharted 3. I grabbed this, I already have Uncharted 3, I have all the Uncharted games, but I thought the copy that I had was Platinum. The one I have is not Platinum, it's just a regular version, but this one came with the manual. My version here doesn't have the manual, and the disc on this is absolutely perfect as well, so we'll upgrade our copy, and we'll try that one off. So then, we didn't really have much time for game hunting. I went in today to Dunleary on Dart, just went into all the charity shops along there, went into the Aladdin's Cave, we'll talk about that at the end. But nothing crazy there. First shop I got a copy of Mass Effect 2 on the 360. This was a nice clean copy. This one was, this was actually one euro, so it was grand. It had both discs as well, which is rare for me. I normally pick these up not realizing they're two disc versions, but this one had both discs in it. And nice manual as well, so nice clean complete copy for the collection. The next stop then, I just grabbed a copy of Ace Combat Assault Horizon. It was two euro, it's about what it's worth. But again, nice and complete, came with the soundtrack, the manual, and another disc that, bear a few fingerprints, it's perfect, it looks like it's never been played either, so. One just to have a go of. So I grabbed Need for Speed Carbon. I don't think I have this one, this is actually a good one, I think this sells for about 10 euro, so for two euro that was a nice pickup. Again, complete, nice disc. And then we went to the Aladdin's Cave. Actually, sorry, before we went to the Aladdin's Cave, we stopped into CEX. Wasn't gonna bother, but it's just one of those things, you're walking past that and you went to have a little look around. 
I went in and had a look and I ended up picking up this copy of Mortal Kombat. Now this was 28 euro, but I had a voucher in the wallet with 27.50 on it. So as you know, all those vouchers are just from games that we picked up in charity shops. So we essentially paid 50 cents to add this to the collection. But nice clean label on that, really nice copy. One that I've wanted for the collection for a while, so really happy to get that. But yeah, then the Aladdin's Cave, they didn't really have an awful lot of new stuff. Most of what was in there was all the FIFA's, sports titles, weird sort of quiz ones that I left behind the last time. But I walked in and literally just sitting on the shelf where the two of these, I seen Mario Kart. I was laughing because I was thinking to myself, I never pick up any of the heavy hitter traders for the Wii. You know, like the commons, like Mario Kart, Super Mario, stuff like that. And then we ended up getting two of them in one, one stop. But this one was even better again, Mario Kart. So fully complete. Has the manual. Really nice clean disc. We'll have no issues trading that in. I think it trades for about 19 still and it sells for about 30. So I don't know, maybe we'll we'll flip this one. We'll wait and see. But in the case was a bonus game. New Super Mario Bros. and the Wii. So I think that still sells for about 10, 15 quid as well. Uh, we have them both already, so we'll definitely move them on. And we also grabbed a copy. Again, nice, clean, complete. This is actually much nicer condition than the one that I have. So I'll be swapping this out. Got mine in CEX with some trade credit actually, so I think we'll just put this one into the collection, take the one that I have, and give it back to CEX and get a few bob back off them for it. Yes, yeah, so we'll be back again with another live video game hunt in about two weeks. I know I said every second Thursday, but with work and stuff like that, it's just it's always going to be sort of towards the end of the week. So Wednesday, Thursday, you're generally going to see a new video every second week and with the odd bonus video in between. But thanks for watching, thanks for sticking around, and we'll see you again soon. Hope you're all keeping well. Cheers.